Hey everybody. So we are going to see Dr. Sleep today, which I don't know why I had to do the eyebrow thing. But uh, yeah, so I'm very excited actually to see this film. Um, I know that the reviews have been pretty good and the response has been really good. That's more or less what I'm kind of excited about is that a lot of people that um, I, well, I'd say I respect have seen it and really enjoyed it. And I'm kind of excited to see another Stephen King movie. I don't know why. They're always like... <laughs> It's either good or bad. I don't want this to be a, for me, a pet cemetery where I just didn't feel like I was that much into it after seeing it and especially with the whole trailers and everything. But there's a lot of stuff in this that I feel like hasn't been given away, especially by trailers, and that really makes things exciting. Now, I did go through and kind of revisit it um, just to get the idea again of the story and better understand it. Um, and I wish, I kind of wish that I'd gone back and watched The Shining, to be honest with you. But I don't think there's that connection to it other than it's going to redo some of the stuff that Kubrick did. And it's amazing that the director of this film, whose name escapes me right now, um, actually like reshot the scenes. Because I really thought that he had taken the scenes from the movie and interjected them into here. But no, he's actually reshot all of those scenes. It's not like a, uh, you know, uh, psycho reshoot uh, exactly but it's still gonna be kind of cool uh, I'm just excited to see it I hope that it's interesting that's it I don't really care about like it being scary or jump scares or anything like that I just want it to be an interesting movie I think it's got a good main actor in Ewan McGregor um, I've loved that guy ever since I saw him in training uh, training day uh, train spotting oh Jesus Christ yeah he's not Ethan Hawke uh, but it, it that's what makes me most excited about this film it was kind of like watching you know after the disappointment of some of the star wars movies like he was the best thing the best thing about the prequel movies uh and you can fight me on that but uh i'm, I'm very excited to see this film uh, i hope that it's like i said at least entertaining i hope that i get engrossed by the story and the way that it's shot um and just really want to have a good time so Hopefully it will be, um, but you'll find out in just a few moments whether or not I really enjoyed Dr. Sleep. Uh, see you in a few. He doesn't want to be on camera this time? <laughs> oh, look, he's filming. So what's up, Pat? What's up? Thoughts? Uh, I'm just hoping for a good continuation of the story. I haven't read the book yet, even though I bought the book and forgot to read it. So I'm just excited. And maybe, you know... You? Maybe Conor McGregor will bust out his lightsaber. <laughs> I'm just here to see it. You're just here to see it? I have no expectations. Not hanging out with Harriet over there? <laughs> All right, popcorn time. All right. Hey, guys, we're back from watching Dr. Sleep. Woo! Was it, was it sleepworthy? No. <laughs> it wasn't sleepworthy. Uh, so, Patrick, always leaves up to you initial thoughts. Um, I really enjoyed it. I made me want to read the book more. I wanted, I bought the book. I was going to read it prior to... Um, coming because I knew the movie was coming out and it's sitting on my nightstand and, and I never started it so I feel like a dick but I, you know honestly I re I saw The Shining way before I read the, the book The Shining so I feel like I'm you can see what, what's different and but you know what you missed it, it, and this might sound bad because I, like I, I was saying earlier on the podcast uh -huh. uh, it'd be really like that podcast um, that uh, I don't have the greatest imagination mm -hmm. so actually reading even though the book is really different from the movie it helped put images in my head for the to, book. to follow along with Just the book a little better. I can understand that. It, it does help a lot. Um, I would definitely say that I enjoyed this immensely. Um, this is going to be no spoilers because I feel if you really want to see this movie, like, we should, we should do, do any. Me. Well, no, I'm just saying it now that no Don't spoilers. Place. I mean, okay. Oh, uh, could have. But I don't want to get copyright strike, so we oh. stop that music. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, the, so, when I, was a I kid, just, uh, before I gush about it, I want to talk about what, what do you think is the bad about the movie? Let's start a little different than we know. I think that, like, it was a little elongated in the beginning. Like, I, I, you know, once the second act started, or well, I guess you say, like, towards the final act. I would say the second act. Second act. It, was, it really started going. And I get it. Like, they added probably more, like, read the book I did more into the book but like when you make a movie 
I feel like some of the extra stuff you feel like can be cut out. Um, I was just seeing that, like, when I knew spoilers, but there was a scene I was talking to Brian about, or I kind of explained my scent and my idea of, like, where it could have been shortened down yeah, a little bit. Where is it? Sorry about that. But anyway, it could have been shortened down a little bit more movie aspect wise. Because, I mean, I, I wish without. Um, Obviously, we know that they're looking for certain people that can ha have the shine. Right? Yes, yes. Okay, so that's not it. I wish we would, maybe would have had a little bit more of that. Yeah. It, and, and there's one thing to say. You know by the trailers that they're going to go back to the Overlook Hotel. Because it's in the trailers. And I wish there was more time spent there. So, the I would say that it, it really comes down to the beginning of the movie. That where I found a lot of fault in it. When um, I was a kid. It, it was, a little bit, was a little bit slow to start. Um... I didn't like Dark Rose place. right away, um, it it down. and Let I just felt it. like the little girl was a little bit too much. But the things that uh, there. in, in that that played Abra, um, and, and then all of a sudden things just like they completely changed. I just I loved love 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 fucking everything, like past that point. Like it, 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 it was a little slow, north. but then again, I know that you're building characters, and especially you're building. Rose and her gang, right? Her her gang of, of you know whatever you want to call them. Myself, um, I guess. And like, there's a couple. There's there's one character that's introduced that I feel like Hi. would would benefit from you maybe a little me. bit more of doing something. Your magic. The 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 way that the progression magic. of the character ended up. I, I, I really I really want to save exactly what's going on, but I don't want to give anything away. Uh, but like her introduction is kind of cool. And then it's like, oh, you know, place. just some of the things like I really wish I there's there's oh, part where I want to say the girl with the short hair. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the snake. That's, that's what she's called. Uh, like got crow, snake, big daddy or something like that. Oh, it's crow daddy. Oh, it's crow daddy, but who was the big whatever? The older guy was the older guy was grandma, but no, but there was the, the big guy, the guy with the beard. Oh, he was like big something. I don't know, maybe big daddy. He's got his little girl with him, and she's going there and sucking out things. That, that sounds so bad. Um, <laughs> That's supposed to be a wild shot. It's supposed to be a wild shot for everyone. There's a place. But uh, it's, 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 it's it just does once it starts doing things, yes, it does things so here. well. Like and, and it's I not just you. like recreating scenes from the show. Like they did that a lot. But it is the way that you McGregor did something. It's the way that the, the and I'm, I'm so sorry, I don't know the actress's goddamn name that plays Rose. The way that she does oh, some of uh, these Rebecca... scenes. Rebecca... Rebecca Romaine? No. No. <laughs> I think you said Rebecca Florence? I, I was looking, I was looking, I, I, I purposely was trying to look. like, figure I, it out. I purposely well, looked I know it's Michael we Florence down. that directed I said earlier, I don't know his name, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Fucking, like, it's, it's so good. It's just, like, the... It does take a little while to get going, but once it starts going, now, everything just kind of grabs you in. And this isn't your, as far as movie goes, like if you're looking like for a horror movie, like it's, it's, it's more than that. So don't go into it thinking. Yeah, that. and that's and that's one of the things uh, I I said in the beginning is that I wasn't expecting it to that though. It did get me once. It did get me once, and I wasn't expecting it at all. Uh, and I'll tell you after we finish this because I don't want to say that. Um, but it's just like the look on people's faces too and and just i i i want to say things like it's so hard to be like oh, well, that i wish they would have elaborated oh. more on um which is like when they go into each other's heads and i'm gonna leave it at that mm -hmm. but like you know what i'm talking about yeah yeah yeah. and I'm, maybe in the book they do but like i felt i wish there was something they would have gone through a little bit, a little more. bit more thoroughly like yeah because there's something that happens and it just kind of goes nowhere when it, when like it, when it and, and i was just like okay i was expecting something more but it, they do kid, do a couple of things I where it, i mean it does go somewhere i wouldn't say it doesn't go nowhere but something that happens in that it seems to go nowhere like the idea is still there yeah, yeah. it's still present and the action is still I, present and then the th other thing for me is i feel like maybe it's the book, but i feel like as powerful as they, it, like they were trying to say, the shining that Danny is. And mm -hmm. this one, he's still supposed to be really powerful, but yet I feel like they really downplayed how powerful he could be a little bit in, yeah. in the way they 
portrayed in the movie? A little bit. I, I, with those final scenes that they have with him, like they, it really isn't like I think you see how powerful he really is. Mm-hmm. And there's a couple other things where you see how powerful he really is. It's kind of crazy at the same time. But then you also got to think that you know the whole thing with him trying to trying not to use it. Over the years, yeah, so. and, and he even, you know, there, there's something, uh, uh, I'm not going to say what I was going to say, I'll, I'll get into it, maybe. Uh, but I, I think the acting is really good, I think that the set design is fucking amazing, uh, that the fact that they recreated the goddamn house to look exactly like it looked in Kubrick's film, when I was uh, a kid, sorry, the, there was um, a place. the Overlook Hotel house, fuck, um, the, just, the, the characters are engaging, even Let Billy, who is like his friend that he meets for the first time, the you meet him right at the beginning of the movie. Mm-hmm. I thought that, I, and I'm, the actor's name, I know who that guy is. I recognize him. And I'm just like, they come who are back. you? But he's, his character is is pretty damn good, and the, the guy that plays him does an extra. Like, I don't fault I any of the like actors. Like, you see north. certain horror movies. Like, you, you look at Pet Cemetery is one we can compare this to, right? Where two people, uh, critics and some audiences, they really love it. I'm not a big fan of Pet Cemetery. He wasn't a big fan I'm of the Pet Cemetery movie. Myself, but guess. not all the acting was good. You know, some of it was really good, and some of it was just like, oh, God, I don't want to slap somebody across the face. Some of it was really, it was like, yeah. Pet Cemetery, it was just, it was just the yeah. positive. Like, some of the stunt scenes were good, but it took so long to get to that scene, and then, oh, man, this is really good, and then it took so long to get to another scene. It was like, and with this one, it is long. I mean, it's over two and a half hours long. It's a hungry place. Um, it, but the dangerous I didn't feel I felt it a little bit in the beginning, but like Pet Cemetery, I felt it throughout. This, yeah, you fell asleep. <laughs> I, I fell asleep. Uh, but this, I, I honestly was so engaged, and I had a fucking it's smile ridiculous. from just like ear to fucking ear. Uh, especially when they went back to Overlook. But even before that, just, just with the way the characters interacted with each other, just the way that the story was progressing, just all the little nuances that they would do, it, it was just absolutely. Well, yeah, and a lot of the throwbacks too. And the, and the girl, the woman they got to play his mom, the similar. Oh yeah, well, every, everybody, uh, everybody that he used in the past, even the old man. Uh, I always forgot that character. Lloyd? Uh, no, not Lloyd. Oh, um, the, the, the one that introduces him to the shiny that's going to be featured. Oh, 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 uh, Dick, Dick. Like, he looks very, very similar as well. Like, they were playing the John kind of football. Yeah. Uh, so the fact that like I was like wow did they use like aging technology on somebody like on some of it I feel like I almost wish they would have like and I don't want to go into that too much because I'll go with it after no but, but you see it in the in the previews you don't really see uh Shelley Duvall's character his mom right yeah in the trailers but you see a lot of the ghosts from the original and all of them look pretty much the same yeah. well except for I think that the old lady is a little more I don't know what's <laughs> what's up this year, old ladies, naked old ladies in the Stephen King movies. I, I don't just don't know. It's like the year of the Flop, naked floppy titties. <laughs> floppy titty bush. <laughs> floppy titty old bush movies. And why is her bush so dark and she's so old and crepid? Maybe it's been so in the tub for way too long. So, um, I mean, I, there's more that I would like to talk about, more that I would like to spoil, and maybe... I will do something separate and be able to do like a spoiler type of thing for people that want to hear what I think about that stuff. But, um, Pat, what would you rate the film? Just I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go four Your magic. demonic like me. come play with us twins out of five. <laughs> I'm going to go with five Shannons out of five because uh, I don't want to get sued. But <laughs> I just, my place. I, I cannot express how much place. I like this movie without talking about every little I nuance that I want to talk about when you see it. So uh, if you like are this. interested in this film, um, it's the probably guy. one of my favorite movies of the year. Um, was kid, definitely one of my favorite I horror movies of the year. Uh, you know, but everything. Just uh, remember, it is a different type of, it is. from your other it, horror It's movies. a story horror movie is what it is. It's not a scare me. Magic. It's not a do whatever. It's what Pet Cemetery I, kind of wanted to be. That's why I'm kind of thinking about it. Because Pet Cemetery was really a story horror movie. It wasn't a straight up just horror movie, you know. But yeah. it, it was atmosphere. It was everything else. But it just falls a little short. And this, I felt, didn't fall that short. So, uh, like I said, everything else down below there in the comments for all of us. 
Uh, yep, you guys can see it over there. Uh, and, you know, make sure you'll check out all the past stuff, the paranormal activity, and uh, check out the YouTube channel that he's got. Solar 6 4 with the video. Uh, right. it'll, it'll be all down there and all that stuff. And then uh, check out the other videos if you like uh, these little reviews. Uh, make sure, I guess I should say, like and subscribe. But uh, anything else before we go, Pat? Come play with us forever and ever. Oh no, I think I'm gonna start screaming. Ah!